All right, a very good day. This is Fedai Sefele, Jimo, the team lead of Plan B Express. Of course, uh, we're just going to go to navigating system on the crypto space and uh, in our trading platforms and um, uh, talking about making sentiment. Uh, sentiment, talking about sentiment, navigating skills, and taking profit as a major tool of being big in the crypto space. Sentiment, navigating skills and taking profit as the major tools of being big in the crypto space. So many of our community members have been finding it difficult to understand sentiment in their psychology in the crypto space. Of course, uh, what we say, we say it's called what? Sentiment, sentiment, okay? Navigation skills. Okay, navigation, sentiment, navigation skills, and taking profit. Okay, as a major tool, as some of the relevant, sorry, some of the relevant tool, tools in being big, being big big in the crypto space. Okay. The crypto space. So these things are very, very important, and uh, they're very, very important, okay? Very, very important, so you need to take advantage of it. So if you're in a community of trading, of a community of traders in trading room, of course, we have always been telling our people to empower themselves in level of, in level of sentiment. You must be sentimental. Be sentimental enough to be sentimental enough to take profit. Be sentimental enough to uh, take advantage of opportunity. Of course, in in Plan B Express, when uh, we have segment, okay, we have departmentalized uh, our activities. Uh, just a moment. Okay, so uh, like I said, so I'm going straight away because we have so many platforms we take advantage of, you know, uh, in our platforms. The first thing is the personal trading. So I'm going straight away. Navigation, okay? Of course, you have developed your sentiment and then you need to increase your level of navigation. Your sentiment first, your sentiment is this. You must be selfish enough to say, I must be in profit. And so if you, are, if you increase your level of sentiment, it makes you look so uh, selfish about your money. And you are, you are more or less that, man, I just need my money. So you are very self-centered okay, about your money. So if that is the case, you come into crypto. So I'm logging in now. This is number one exchange will make use of, okay? Number one exchange will make use of, um, da, 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 da. let's go there. Number one exchange will make use of is Binance. So I want to log into Binance. So please pay attention. I want to log into Binance. 
if you verify your account, it makes more sense. So let me log into an account that has been verified. It makes more sense you verify your account. Okay? It makes more sense you verify your account. Oh, da, 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 da. Like this. Uh, this, this. Okay, so I want to log into a verified account. So like I told you, it makes more sense to verify your account on Binance. So why? Because you can do fiat transaction. So I'm going to log in straight away to a verified account. Uh, I'm logging into a verified account. So let's go there verified account on Binance. Uh, even every exchange you have, you're making use of, please verify your account, okay? So I have my Google Authenticator. Of course, if you are in our community of traders, you know, in, uh, if you are on, on, on Plan B Express, and then you are on Be With Me, people who are trading uh, on our platforms are using our signals and training, please go and do your verification. Okay, because the time is going to come. Uh, the essence of cryptocurrency is, is pure decentralization. Okay, if I'm decentralized, I, I shouldn't need somebody to hold me down because I want to buy coin and all of that. So what Benice has done was to have include, especially if you are in Nigeria, and I think they have added so many country onto Binance now where you can buy directly with your fiat. Okay. And that's the essence of your verification. So your KYC should be done, okay? Now, if your KYC was done, I've logged in. Now, there you go, if I log in, either you're using your phone or whatever. But I don't think the last time I used phone to do uh, um, a direct deposit, I think I was not getting it right. And so, but look at it, a deposit, next you go to wallet. Please, this video, take it very seriously. If you're watching me live, Take this training very seriously. I'm not going to tell you coins will trade because the people who belong to my trader, trading forum, of course, they know which coin will trade. What you need is the skills, the sentiment. The sentiment is that anyone who takes profit never go broke. So any profit that is on the table, take it and wait for the next time. Of course, you know, if you're with me, we already have segment of our taking profit strategy in the scalping, in the swinging, and in the holding, holding is solely depending on you. And holding of a coin, we said, there should be a good margin of profit because time will take a longer period more than scalping. But if it's scalping, do not uh, kill yourself to say, hey, I want to wait until I do 100% or all of that. No, scalping, I make this profit. It's okay, I want to go off, I go off, I go to another coin. That's the instance of scalping. So get, I go, I click on wallet, then I haven't click on wallet. Uh, okay, you click on wallets and then from wallets, you're going to see spots. You click on spot. There, after spot, you see balances. Okay, you see balances. You see all oh, manner. Then you can see at your left corner, you see balance, you see deposit, you see withdrawal, whatever. Then you can click on deposit. Okay, so I click on deposit, especially if you are Nigeria. Uh, if you are Paying with your Bitcoin in, or you are buying Bitcoin from somebody to deposit in, you copy your wallet. But I want to use my Nigeria bank account because the account is a verified account. Somebody may ask, how do I know that the account is verified? You will see it personal, okay? You will see it personal. So there I go. Uh, which currency are you depositing in? NGN. So you're, depending on your country, if you're in Nigeria, I'm using Naira. So NGN is there. Then click on deposit, choose deposit method. Now, having clicked on choose deposit method, then where do you go next? Now, how much are you actually depositing in? A month, fiat deposit. How much are you actually depositing in? He said, it should be between 150 naira to 430,000 naira if you're using a card. That's what you're showing here. But if you are using a bank transfer, 
by using bank transfer, you can deposit as high as 150 Naira to 18 million Naira. Okay, make sense? So I'm gonna use card because I'm not depositing large volume of money. So I'm depositing 10,000 Naira. So as an example, 10,000 Naira. So 10,000 Naira, I'm gonna be charged 140 Naira. If I'm depositing more than this, that Binance admitted that what they will charge me is a flat rate of, uh, it's a flat rate, okay? The percentage if I'm using bank transfer is a flat rate of 150 Naira if I'm using uh, bank transfer. You see, if I'm using bank transfer, every bank transfer I'm doing is gonna be 150 Naira. So even if it's 1 million, it's going to be 150 naira. That makes sense, guys. Make a lot of sense, huh? So in that order, so I'm still good, okay? I can deposit, you know, 150 naira um, to as high as 18 million naira. So I'm, I'm going to be charged a flat rate of 150 naira. Make a lot of sense. The crypto is making a lot of sense going forward. I don't know if you're still left behind. I don't know what you're still waiting for, guys. So that says so. I want to make use of cards so you can make use of bank transfer. You can make a different, you know, strategy or pattern, you know. So if I want to make use of, so card cost me because card provider payments and all of that. So uh, if I'm using card, you can see that I'm going to be charged more than that, ten thousand naira of card. Okay, this is ten thousand naira, hundred and forty naira. Okay, so it makes sense. Okay, so I'm going forward. So submit. So Flutterwave is connected. Okay, so Flutterwave is connected with, so I put my card, so you have your ATM card number, like mine's there already. So uh, you type in, please don't click on remember me on this. So you put your card, CVV, that's the security number, you'll see at the reverse side of your ATM card. Okay, I don't need to show you my own. <laughs> so this is my card, for instance, so at the reverse side, congratulations. I show you my reverse card. Pay me twenty million naira. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it down to uh, whatever, whatever. My own is two 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 seven 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 seven. <laughs> Somebody wanna know it? <laughs> Please don't reveal that thing to anybody. Don't reveal that your card uh, CVV to anybody. So I pay two thousand uh, ten thousand. So he asked me of my PIN number. Okay, you of course you know your PIN number. So I use soft token. So if you don't use soft token, it may go immediately, but I use soft token to my phone. So I'm waiting for the soft token to be sent to my phone. Now there, boom, it has come. The soft token has come that I'm sending. So soft token has come. Uh, this, if you want to take it, you can take it. So my soft token has come. Then there I go. Put in the soft token. That's the, 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 the. Okay, there. Okay, yeah, soft token. If you want to put it for me, you can go ahead. <laughs> so, authorized payment. So, I'm waiting. What do you see? Thank you for your payment. Your payment was successful. We just sent you receipts to your email, FMFM code at Gmail. Finish. I've made that proceed of that. I've gotten the alert in my phone that I've made payment of 10,000 Naira. Now you can go to your history, you know, to check, you know, it won't take any longer time for the money to come. Can you see? Successful, okay? The attempt I made in giving you a demonstration is what to show here. 9,816 Naira been credited to my account already. You can see the transactions, details, and all of that, 10,000. 140 naira was charged as transaction B. Yeah, I go back, if I go to my balance now, what are you gonna see? Go to my balance, okay, see, go to my balance. Okay, uh, let me remove this. Let's see, I go to my balance, you can see the money is in my balance. Zero, 9,862 naira because I have two naira there before. Now that is done. Please, this is navigating skills. Now if that is done, what do I need to do now? The next thing you do, is to go to trade, advance, okay? If it's on your phone, just click on trade, it will take you to trade. So, go to trade and advance, then, 
Now, this guy is not paired. Your fiat, your naira is not paired with uh, your naira is not paired with um, what's it called? It's not paired with other coins, but it's paired with BTC and BNB. So you click all, come here, and you click on NGN. So you can see BTC NGN, B BNB NGN. So assuming I want to buy BNB, but I want to buy BTC. So click on BTC slash NGN. Then it take me up here. One Bitcoin now is worth 3.4 million Naira. So let me say, I want to buy BTC at this prevailing rate. So I just click. So let me say half of it, or let me say just 100% of it, I'm buying BTC. So it shows me this, and what must have been charged. Then I click on buy. So I'm buying BTC. Now, when I buy BTC, then I cannot take my BTC to trade with other coins. But what I advise our community was that you can keep some money in your Naira to BTC, your Naira to NG, uh, your Naira to BNB. So when you buy, you deposit your Naira to your bank, to your account in Binance. You buy BNB, you buy BTC. Let's say right now I'm buying BTC at the rate of 3.4 million Naira, which what of 10,000 Naira or 9,860 Naira. Now, and I say, okay, you can, I can set my price. Say, when BTC get to 4 million Naira, sell it for me, okay? When it get to 4 million Naira, sell it for me. So 4 million Naira, sell it for me. So at what rate have I bought if they end up selling for me? That means I'm buying this volume of BTC uh, by 0 0.002829. So 0 0.002829. Okay, so I see now <clears throat> sell for me when BTC get to 4 million era. That means that my coin I'm buying at this rate, if they end up selling for me, they're going to, if I sell at 4 million Naira, I'm going to have 11,316 Naira, which was how much? 9,800 and something Naira. So if it was 100,000 Naira, the same thing, or let's say I'm buying at this rate with 200,000 Naira worth of BTC, okay? Now 200,000 Naira worth of BTC is going to give you 0 0.057375. Then I say, okay, when BTC get back to this rate, sell for me, that's Five seven, okay, five seven, three seven five. So two hundred thousand naira will be two hundred and twenty nine thousand five hundred. So that means twenty nine thousand five hundred naira is now in a profit. Now, when the price come down again, I say this same thing. When price come down to maybe three point five million naira, okay, three point five million naira, okay, three point five million naira. Take that my same money. Okay, take that my same money, 229, all right, 500, 229,500. Buy BTC for me again, it's gonna buy this worth of BTC 0 0.06. Have you seen the difference now? Now, I say, when it goes back again to 4 million, sell for me again. So 655, 65571. That means I have 260, can you see the difference? 262,284 Naira from 200,000. So it may take me one month or two months to do this, but the good thing is that you have built do your business independently without you know, the hassle of giving your money to fraudulent people, and then they come back with stories. Now, that is one side. Now, once that is done, the navigating skills is, you click here, you bought BTC for instance. Now, this is USD or fiat market. You must come to BTC market. So you come to BTC market, which coin do you want to buy with your BTC? So let me say, I want to buy uh, EOS. I want to buy EOS. So I click, I have to set the coin, or I want to buy MTL, or I want to buy GTO, I want to buy um, T4, I want to buy um, Mana, okay? I want to buy REN, okay? I want to buy uh, TNT, okay? I want to buy R uh, RCN. I want to buy ZRX. I want to buy, you know, whichever coin you want to buy. So any coin you want to buy, you have to like search for the coin, okay? And um, so I want ION, okay? I want to buy ION, so I'll go here. And then, so the coin come up, okay? 
now I want to buy this coin and then I come to the markets and so click and then how much do I want to buy? How much money do I have? So if I have a thousand dollars, that's okay. I just want to buy half of my money at what rate? If I don't like this rate that is there, maybe possibly I'm studying the market to say, oh, this market is just consolidating. It's still going to come down lower than what it is now. I say I want to buy it at 11, uh, 1,125 Satoshi. Okay, that means I'm saying I want to buy somewhere here, 1,000, 1, uh, 1, yeah, down somewhere here. I say I want it to come down here until when it's somewhere here, buy for me. So I set the price, I say 50% of my money. Okay, 50% of my money and I click buy. Okay, now it has placed the price to buy iron for me with your money. So that is buy. You click for buy. Have they bought for me immediately? No, they've not bought for me immediately. The market is set here. And that's why you see it in open order. It's in the open order. So any market that has not been executed will be in the open order. Any market that has been executed, we go to trade history. Okay? Can you see? Any market that has been executed, we go to trade history. Okay? Any market that has that was aborted or was executed, we go to order history. So you can see them, maybe it was aborted, it was executed. If it was aborted, you see cancel. If it was executed, you see the field, okay? So it was executed, you see field, it was aborted, you see cancel, and that open order. So these are places you check your market. Now, if I bought iron and I can come back and say, okay, I want to sell my iron at this rate, maybe a thousand, uh, 700 satoshi, like look at the highest price you went to the air. So 1,750 satoshi. Okay, 50% of my coin, 75 or 100%. So 100% of it sell. Or must I use those percentage? No, I can type it manually. Maybe I have 10,000 ion. I say, okay, I want to sell only 2,000 at this rate. Okay, I want to sell 5,000 or 4,000 at this rate. So I put it there and click on sell. That's all and then you place it. Must I be there when the market will be sold? Absolutely no. Yours is to set the market and go away from the market. Market take care of itself. So when you come back, the market is being sold. Please take note. If I finish selling my market, if I finish selling my market, my market is in order, I finish selling my market and my market is in order, and I've made money in BTC, look at your sentiment. And BTC went up, look at what it did here, uh, US, so if I want to sell to fiat, the essence of making up your USDT. Now, this is BTC. BTC right now is at 9,625 or 9,624, but it went up to as high as $10,500, okay? Went up to as high as $10,500. Now, but as long as I'm waiting that BTC may probably go up to $12,000. Then I come back here, I haven't, I haven't bought here. I say, oh, I must click here. Rather than clicking on BTC market, I have to click on USD market. And then search for my BTC or any other coin that is paired with USDT. And then I come here and say, please, when BTC is at $12,000, sell my market for me 100%. So, okay, no problem. Is that so? No problem. Click on sell. So as I click on sell, okay, this is not to $10. That's the minimum I can place for sell. It's not to $10. So then... You ask me, oh, your market at $12,000, the market is going to be sold. And that's what you need to understand in the sentiment of your market. So that's been us. So anyone who is still having problem in the navigating skills, and so you can take advantage of this video and to listen to it over and over again. Then the next place I'll go to is uh, BitForest. Okay. This is BitForest for some of our friends, some of our, you know, our traders that still find it difficult to understand how to navigate. BitForest exchange platform. Okay, there I go, this is BitForest. So if you are new and you want to get started with us in Plan B Express, then you can contact me. Or uh, if you are not online, I, you know, because I know some of you are watching live on Facebook right now. And uh, But if this video was given to you by any of our team member in Plan B Express, then what you do, Uh, just a moment, guys. Okay, 
go here. Uh, BitForex, okay. This is BitForex. So I log in. Where is six two? Okay, four four nine. Okay, so there we go. Now, this is BitForex, it's logged in. Now, please, when you are using a the BitForex, there are little different between BitForex and um, Binance. BitForex and KuCoin have the same interface, so please don't mistake it or anything. Now, you come to Asset. If you have your BitForex, you come to Asset. Now, if you have not traded on BitForex at all before, when you create the account, please, you must go to your settings, go to your security settings, and make sure you bind your not your email, verify your email, that you bind your phone number or you do your Google Authenticator, and then you must set your trading password. Without that, you cannot trade. So you set it and then you are good to go. Now the next thing is go to do, you click on your asset and then you'll see asset deposit withdraw transfer, you know, BF token, whichever thing. At a point, what do you want to do? What actually do you want to do? What I want to do is that I want to deposit in money. What are you depositing money? Which money are you depositing? BTC. So click on deposit, say choose token. So let BTC here, then copy the da, 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 da. go pay your money in. Wait until when the account is uh, credited. Okay. Once the account is credited, you see the BTC here. All right. Ensure that once you see the BTC, come back and click on transfer. As you click on transfer for the first time, it asks you many questions. Move to perpetual, just agree to condition, terms and condition, agree. Sometimes say to MTF, F, M, F, uh, 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 this uh, Forex, uh, this thing, MT5, just agree and move forward. So there you click on transfer and then agree you to move transfer. So wallet, you are moving your money from wallet to sports account. So you click on sports account. If it's all, you click all. If it's part of the money, maybe you deposit in one Bitcoin, you just only want to make use of 0 0.5, all right, 0 0.5, then you click confirm, then you are done. Then go back, so look at spot here, so click on spot, now so click on spot, then you go. Which coin do you want to trade? Is it BTC? Okay, so you have sent in BTC, you want to trade, let's say you want to trade RVN, Revan. <clears throat> Revan is another strong coin that, uh, I, I don't joke with it, I hold Revan very well. And so you have to click here. Sometimes the coin you want to trade is not shown here, okay? Let's say you want to trade uh, Z, okay? And, but when you open, uh, beg your pardon, BTC. So Z is what, Z is the coin you want to trade. But it's not shown here, you have to click on this search here. You can see search, okay? Da -da 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 -da. Click on search and type Z. So Z against USDT, that's the only thing available. So let's say another coin entirely you want to trade. Let's say Dodge. Okay, you can see Dodge is paired with uh, not BTC, but um, Ethereum. So let's say what you want to trade is um, MTL. It's not here. Uh, I say it's Chainlink. So link, type L-I-N-K. So it paired with BTC and Ethereum. So you click on link slash BTC. Okay, so you click, then you can see, oh, this is link, oh, fantastic. This is link, I want to buy link. Then you scroll down. Then you can see, okay, I have some link here that I'm just playing around with here. And also you now look, where's your money you have to buy link? Oh, this is the money I have to buy link. How much is link? Link is, the price of link for one is, for the 3,402 Satoshi. Maybe that's not the price you want to buy it. You want to buy it at 36,000 Satoshi. So 36,000 Satoshi. So you type it 36,000 Satoshi or even 30,000 Satoshi. So you put it 30,000 Satoshi. How many? 50% of your money or 100% of your money. Then you click on what? Buy link. 
there it asks you that pin you have set uh, try, uh, trading uh, password. So it's six digits. You must set it and you must remember it. I advise you write it down somewhere. Uh, I expect a link to spike back very soon again. It's an indication of the market to move up again. And so ordinarily, if you are trading a coin and it has done this, that, that, that this is 30 minute interval. Let me use one hour interval uh, time indicator. Let me use uh, four hours time indicator. So let me use. Uh, one day. So if you look at these days, you see that the market is still bullish. One week, the market is still extremely bullish. At this, it's still bullish. But if I use this interval, two hours, you see that the market actually is still dropping. But you want to rebound back. But this is the first support. This is the next support. That's the bottom line, the next support, 40,000. So I can set that 40,000. So if I go back here now, you can say, okay, I still expect the market again, 34,000 Satoshi. So if I go by one day, okay, I can say, okay, I'm expecting this guy. So the bottom, the bottom of the bottom of link is 23, 24,000 Satoshi. So if I set at this, that's another support level, 30,000 30, Satoshi. So that's it, you have set your market. Now, having set your market for buying, assuming you have some, look at it, assuming I want to sell link now. And then I come here, I say, I want to sell link at 55 or 55,000 Satoshi. 55,000 Satoshi, 100% of my um, links will be sold at 55,000 Satoshi, I click on sell. Then they ask me of the pin again, I put the pin, there we go. Now, oh, it's placed, it shows you still have total of these, but none is available. Where have they been to? They are now there at your order history. It's in order, open order, look at the one I want to sell, look at the one I want to buy. At what rate? Has it been filled? No, not filled yet. Now, if I go to, other history, you can see those one I have bought and sold, but I sold, you know, maybe I bought at, uh, um, how much? 29,000 Satoshi, okay, 29,000 Satoshi, 26,000 Satoshi, and then sold at 30,000, 30,000, 30, you know, and then others was left there. So that, that says you can check your market and see what's happening. So that's BitForest. So BitForest have similar interface with KuCoin. So I may not really have time to start telling you about KuCoin right now because our time is already against me. And so KuCoin is similar, you know, to uh, BitForest. So they have the same interface, uh, uh, pattern of your markets to trade, buy coin, uh, put it from the main account to set it to spot or trading account as the case may be on KuCoin. And then you can now pick. So what I love is this. I finish selling, I make profit, I can set some money back to my main wallet while some other money still stay back on my trading wallet. So these are the advantages. So you take advantage of it. So let me say, I want to log in. I wish uh, I know what this password is. So I do not normally come to KuCoin like that. So please, I encourage everybody to do as much as possible to have your they are KuCoin, um, what's it called? Every of your exchange, ensure, ensure you have your Google Authenticator done. Please, it's very important. Google Authenticator is very, very important. So do it because part of the security measure, you know, to preserve, protect your, uh, your money, you know, it's absolutely your responsibility to protect your money. Do your little bit. And so do not be carried away by, okay, uh, there's nothing happening now. The more the price of crypto go up, the more likely we are gonna have a record issues and serious cases of, um, uh, what do we call, attack and hacking. And so when you're, uh, okay, I think I made a big mistake here. So your Google Authenticator should be set, you know, for security protection, okay? There you go, it asked me for my Google Authenticator for KuCoin. So then I go there, 629-494-494. Okay.
a success. So that's, you know, I have many accounts in KuCoin. And so and the same pattern we use in BitForex is what you use in KuCoin, okay? So be careful not to fall victim of circumstances. And, uh, okay, uh, I don't think I have any money here. Yeah, and something here is that on KuCoin, when you buy KuCoin and keep in your wallet, you are paid certain percentages, you know, every day, you know. So you are meant to log in and to check the, 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 what they paid you and you can compound it. And that's what me, yeah, I've not really had time to so, so have time. So, uh, yeah, something like that. So now this is KuCoin, the same way, assets, you click on asset. Then here you see main account, you click on main account on KuCoin. Please, everyone, all our traders in view with me, please take note of this video very well because I might not really have time to uh, go back to them over and over again. So, um, so it's your responsibility to see what we're doing here right now. So, okay, now you see deposits, you have click on assets and you click on main account. And so you see deposits, so click on deposit. Okay. and. Um, the same way, so you select which coin. So if it's not here, if BTC is not here, you have to type it. Now you can see BTC, then you click on it and then copy your wallet. So go to where you want to pay the money to, you can just click here, just copy it, then go to where you want to pay. And once it's been paid in, the same thing, okay? You stick up to your overview, you're gonna see, uh, come to your assets. So still see transfer the same way, then you click on transfer. Here you see main trading. So the same way, if I want to, maybe I've made profit exactly, just like in a, in a, in a bit forest, I've made profit and I want to withdraw. You have to transfer from trading account back to uh, main account or main wallet. And the same way here, you have to transfer from trading account to main account. So that here, transferring from main account to trading account. How much or which coin are you transferring? Uh, you have to search, so it's BTC. Okay, you now say, okay, BTC, you have clicked. How much are you sending? Let's say 0 0.01, but you have orders or more, click on confirm, then it moves. The same way you have made some money, I want to transfer from trading account to main account, the same way, which coin am I transferring? Okay, and then do the same thing. So that's what you do. So I haven't done that, the same way you go to spot. So see the spot, so click on spot on KuCoin, and then as you click on spot, it, okay, roll up, show you the interface for trading of any coin you might want to buy you know on the uh, coin okay and also this is KuCoin. coin okay i want to buy and, uh, so you have to search it so i have the same way i have uh, here you don't type it frequently once i've typed once as fast i'm still active in the trade it may not ask you of this uh, trading password any longer so but that's asked me so say validation period two hours actually set my validation period two hours. Once I'm online for the next two hours and I'm trading, it won't demand me of the trading password until after two hours expire. Okay. So somebody say, hey, how do you do that? So go to your set my uh, profile and then you see go to the same thing, account security. And so you can look at my security. I think I've done my KYC here. So you need to do your KYC. And so if you go to security, account security, so you can see all those things I've done there. Uh, so please, if you have not done yours, so try and do that. You know, it's very important. So telling you my password, you know, and uh, so Google Authenticator is done. So I didn't buy my phone, I don't have time for that. And email, trading password, you can see trading password, you know, done all of those things. So that was why you see that it shows you that account security uh, account security is high okay so that's all and so I go to sports and then I want to trade okay there, there you go and which coin do you want to trade in which market pair with K, uh, the who coin or USD or BTC market so let's say I want to trade uh, uh, link. Just let me use link if it's been traded right here. Okay, I don't find link here. Raven, RVN.
Okay, mana. Let's say I want to trade atom. That is cosmos point. So you can see atom. The network is fluctuating. Okay, you can see atom against BTC, against USDT. So if it's against BTC, you click the same thing. Then you come up. Then you go to the interface again. So uh, how much is atom? So you have to know how much is it in Satoshi. So if you look at Atom here, so maybe Atom is uh, 50,000 Satoshi, but I want to buy at 49,000 Satoshi, 0 0.00049,000 49, Satoshi. That's what I want to buy it. How many Atom? I'm buying 30 or 3,000 Atom. Then it shows, okay, this is the Atom I'm buying. Then this is the what, the cost of 3,000 Atom. Uh, sorry, uh, let's go to this. Uh, So 3,000 atom, we cost, 300 atom will cost $1,400. So $14,000, that's 1.47 BTC is the cost of that. And then you have more than that in your account, you click on buy, there you go. If I click on buy now, I do not have enough money. And so it's not gonna be executed, so you cannot even go further. And the same way you wanna sell, then come here, then type at what rate? 0 0.000, uh, let's say 70,000 Satoshi is what I want to sell it. Then I do the same thing. Then I click on how many atom? 8,500 atom. So we sold at that. So if it's 3,000, 3,000 atom. That's going to give you 2.1 BTC. That's 20,200. And in that order, so that continues. So that's that about personal trading navigations and what you need to know. And a lot more to know, but at least these are basics that you need to get familiarized with and understand what you're doing for time in your personal trading. And so the other exchange, okay, the last place I'll go to, we have other exchange, Yobit and all of that, make use of it. Let me go here. You know, these are recent activities we've been doing on this guy called Coinsbit, okay? Coinsbit is an exchange we're using. Uh, we, we just, you know, get familiarized with, you know, they're doing a lot of new, new things, uh, lending, uh, staking, invest box, you know, a lot of things. So, but remember, so everything you are doing on the space of this crypto, you have to apply sentiment, okay? The sentiment is what make the difference. The sentiment is what differentiate you, be to, um, uh, differentiate you from the amateurs. You know, the, the, our people, they carried away by the excitement, the, you know, the jubilations of how, um, okay, uh, just one minute, it's okay, it's okay, yeah, go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go and speak. Good, good. This is uh, this is good. Uh, I think uh, that's what is messing up. Uh, just want to show you something simple on the uh, coins beat. So 
But why is coming up? Um, let me do something first because the time is against me. Something very fast. Okay, uh, another thing I need to show people, some of you that are in our community, we, we told you that the project we are doing Terra X, uh, Terra uh, has a coin call credit. Of course, some of you are trading it. Uh, some of us have been trading it on the BitForest. You know, I trade the coin uh, credit on BitForest. Look at it uh, against Ethereum uh, credit. This is credit. Mm, I, have, I still have markets on credit placed uh, waiting for execution. Look at my credit here. Good. Look at it. I still have marketplace for sales. Oh, da, 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 da. Order. Can you see? Nine GUI, seven GUI, eight GUI, six GUI that I'm waiting for it to be executed. For those coins, buy them above them at four GUI, three GUI, and not all that. So if it's six GUI, that's 100%. So if you can see about 16 million of it, so the credit, so it's a coin that's traded on BitForex and uh, uh, the Terra is their own exchange platform. And of course they try to do what they call um, mass adoptions of crypto. And so they promote more of uh, crypto to asset. And so myself, I remember I said, I apply sentiment in everything I do in crypto. So my sentiment is that what can the coin do for me at this time? And what advantage will I leverage on it before the market becomes something big? So I want to show you very quickly a login. This is credit. Okay, this is credit. I've had nothing cool and uh, login. Yeah, login. So this is Terra. I normally advise people once they register their account um, on any platform, they should do their verification if it requires them to do verification and don't allow it to be when you want to make withdrawal, you are struggling to do verification. Not that uh, credit disrupts you not to withdraw, but what happened is that it's very flexible to do your fiat, just like what we did on the, so like what we did on uh, this guy, what was it called? What we did on um, blah, 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 blah. On, uh, on Binance just now. So here too, you can do the same. If you're in Nigeria, in South Africa, and uh, which other country, uh, or this country. Okay, USD is there now, then Colombia, Peso, okay, something like that. And so I've opened an account, for instance, and what you're meant to do if we have sent you, you are already a registered member. If you have not done this, do it. If you are yet to register, you want to register with uh, credit and you are on the Express. And so what you do, so, so for go here and uh, go to user control and then go to bank account and click on create an account. And there you go. So you click on create an account. It shows you details of accounts needed for you to be added. So let's say you are using um, uh, First Bank of Nigeria. Let's ban PLC. Okay, uh, IBAN, if you have an IBAN, if you don't have, so let's see, I'm using my bank account. Okay, uh, two, six, four, two, four, something like that. And sweet codes, you can check sweet code, just go, just there, blah, blah, blah. So go here, Google it, and then just check, uh, do like this, first bank, Okay, first bank swift code. Okay, there it gives me first bank swift code. Have glam blah blah blah. Go back to Terra. Okay, put it. Okay, so you can check the address. I think is check the address of whatever you know. The thing here. Yeah. I just put um, myself. I just put um, Lagos, Nigeria. Good. And so I've done that account holder. So put your name. So fellas Jimo. So you can put your name, just your full name the way it is. Account holder address, put your address. 
Twenty-seven for twenty-three. Uh, we'll say, okay, we'll say two, okay, okay. Uh, Nigeria, Nigeria. So put your country. There you go. You click on save. So you've done that. So I I don't want to do that because I've done that. My account is saved already. And so once that is done, you're fine. Then go to your, your account, your profile. If you're using for you will see your profile down. Then just click on uh, KYC, verify KYC. Sometimes when you are using for it's going to show this way. So you can now see upload ID. And so you click my account is verified. You can see that my account is verified. Yours, if it's not verified, you can now see that it requires you to put in the whatever. So put your ID, upload it. Sometimes some people submit without uploading. First tap at the empty space and it shows you to go back to your system or phone to upload. And after upload, you click submit and then you're done. So you wait for it to be verified. The essence of doing this so that you can do this transaction, either, either you have verified or not, you, you can do transaction, but you won't be able to do cash transaction of withdrawal, deposit, or you can withdraw your credit to uh, BitForest, you can transfer to any other persons within the system, and all that. So, but after doing that, after, do, after you must have done with this, so you are good, there you go, you come back here, user control, then click on wallets, click on my wallet, okay? Now, uh, there's something I need to do here. So if you click on my wallet, you know, and then it shows this, what actually do I want to do? I want to deposit in money. Which type of money? NGN, Naira. So I click to search the currency I want to deposit in. There you go, Nigeria, Naira. And then you click, look at under action, there's a button. You see deposit, withdraw history, all this, blah, blah, blah. So I click on deposit. So I click on deposit, propped up here. And then it asks me, blah, blah, blah. So pay stack as a payment method. Then how much am I depositing in 15,000 era, for instance, I'm using an instance. So I click on, yes, accept that. So deposit balance. So it popped up to another thing. So there are different method of payment. You can use bank. If you click on bank, it navigates you to your bank detail. If you use card, you can use the bank uh, card and all of that. So but I want to use bank, for instance, then clean you up here. So I'm using GTB. And so it shows me this. I can just use my GTB to pay. So just copy this. All right? Just use my GTB to pay. Oh, so wow. This. Okay. Then I'm typing it in my phone already. Okay. Uh, uh, star 737. Star. Okay. Star. Three three star six eight nine eight seven three hash okay hash then there I go which is there's gonna ask me question uh star three seven three star three three I jumped something star four star six eight nine eight Seven three, hash. There we go. Boom. Now it shows a pin to paste that paste to tell us pay. Yes, exactly. It asks for my pin. Now put my pin. So there I put my pin. So can you see it's synchronized immediately? Can you see? It's synchronized immediately. And then it has deducted the money. I've gotten the alert already of the payment. And it's a payment successful. I proceed successfully. So I'm done doing the transaction. So I haven't done that. I'm sure the money must have been, okay, you can see, 
it's pending, but by the time I go back here now, it must have been uh, credited. It doesn't take so much time, so you can use your card, you can use, so I'll be 14,528 Naira, so about 400 and something Naira was cut as charge and all of that. So let's go, there I buy, I want to buy credit. What's the price of credit right now? Okay, so I want to buy credit. Ah, oh, somebody say, how do you get here? Sorry, let me go back. The money has been credited, so you can see my Naira. 14,528 Naira, it's already in my Naira. So you can, you can, you can do this business with as low as 5,000 Naira, so it doesn't matter. So it's a very small. So when I see people complaining of, hey, country is so hard, nothing is working and all of that, you don't need to wait for government, guys. <laughs> I don't think you need to wait for any government to do help yourself. The internet is so decentralized for you to make him send money. So you go to exchange, okay? You go to exchange. Then from exchange, you can see, uh, you see NGN, you see um, um, ETH. So if your own is not in NGN, so search here, and click on NGN and make sure you click on credit. Okay, now, so I wanna buy credit now. At what rate, I wanna buy credit. Is that 0 0.0031111, so I can put my own, I wanna buy faster. Three, one, five, 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 or two, 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 two like that. Here one. One, two, three. Okay. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. So hundred percent. Perhaps can buy me about four million. About four million credit, four point six million credit, if it does fine. Then I click on buy. So my order has been placed successfully, and so I'm waiting for transactions to be completed. Possibly, if it is fine. And uh, let's go here and check something. So that's it. So I'm just waiting until when the market is has placed and uh, buy for me and make sense. So, but look at it. The next thing I tell everybody to always do in their account is that every time you come here, once your account they bought for you, you're meant to come here. Uh, you're meant to come here and transfer. So come to action and click. So make a transfer. But myself, I want to withdraw somewhere to where. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So transfer. So if you want to send credit to me just to ask me of my wallet. It doesn't take any time, and you are not charged for doing that. So that there I'll go. Okay. It doesn't take up to whatever. Okay. How much e uh, credit here? One hundred and fifty-four thousand eight six six. Is there any charges or fee? No, zero. There I go, click withdraw. Successful. Now log into the account, do something now. Okay. Okay, there we go. So I come in here, 243,000 credits. So I have some here already. That's where you're having this. If I can click, I can just go ahead, click on this now. Recent transactions. 
see what was sent in just now. It was credited. That's coming. Okay, it was credited in just now. Okay. So what do I do? I want to do something now. So click on user control, click on wallet, click on my wallet, come up. Then if that come up, what do I do? I want to move this 200. And what I'm meant to be doing is to be transferring my crewer every day to mini POS. This is two for 3,000, two, uh, 402, two for 3,000, 402 credit. So click on transfer. So we go to the mini POS credit has been transferred from primary wallet to mini POS wallet successfully. It will be added to mini POS wallet after this. So one hour later, the accruer will have start counting, but the accruer on credit counts every, you know, um, every one hour, okay? Every one hour, you have a um, credit. Your payment is given to you every one hour. So, I, what I tell people, credit is still very, very, very cheap. So why don't I compound? So let me continue compounding until credit price go up. Then I can make much, much money. So I have some account that's worth about 50 million, 100 million, but very small amount of money. With 200,000 naira, you can buy up to about 50 million units of credit. And so you keep it there. And so what if when it's times two of the price or times 10 or times 20, depending, then you can make money. So credit is cheap for now, so you can still take advantage of it. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think I've just given us the navigation skills and the, the sentiment I've talked about in the crypto space. You must be sentimental. You must be sentimental. If not, you'll be carried away by the emotion. You don't trade with emotions. You don't take advantage of crypto industry with emotion. You must be full of your action and know what you are doing per time. So I mean, a lot of people tell me, hey, Felix, I want to do like this. I just like this coin. I don't like any coin. I like what they are doing and what they do with their coin. And so how can I take advantage of it? That's what should be your sentiment. And now that you're not the owner of any coin. So why are you killing yourself by a coin? Okay, so this is credit. You can see the volatility has been doing nicely well. So it doesn't matter. Whatever the team can give to me is what I take advantage of. So stop the sentiment of, uh, I want to make it now. Well, don't worry, it doesn't matter, guys. You don't just kill yourself over something. You just make the money. You just make the money. I'm not saying you should uh, be wicked, you know, for people, but on projects, I don't know. I, my sentiment is wide on projects. I don't stay and believe some of those stories you will hear, hey, by the time we get to the market, it's going to be worth of billions of this. No. What can I get now? Can I? recoup my money and I you know, take advantage of it. And when I recoup my money, I put it back to major coins, primary coin like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, EOS, Dashcoin, Monero, BNB, Bitcoin Cash, and all of those things. So I know that I'm holding, not holding shit coin to say, hey, I have this coin, it's big and all of that. So uh, I don't know, the coins bit didn't want to come up, but of course many of us are already using it. So you should know how to go into your invest box, take advantage of the invest box, when the price spikes sell and go away, wait for another project to come up. And for some of us who are already doing our EDC, last but not the least, so let me show you something now, very good. Last but not the least, let me show you something now very quickly. I told everybody to always move their EDC coin to their Yobit, okay? So this is my Yobit. So when you have a Yobit exchange, for all of us who have the Yobit exchange, if you don't have and you are joining this platform, this community, please try as much as possible to have Yobit exchange. It's very important. Okay, very very important for you to have Yobit exchange. If you don't have, please go and try and have Yobit exchange. Now, I want to do something very fast on Yobit right now. Uh, let's go there. Good, there we go. Da, 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 da. Yobit. Okay, so there we go. This is EDC blockchain. You know, so you click on deposit. Okay, so this is the wallet. 
So I go to my EDC coin. Where are you? So go to EDC coin. Remember, I say you have to apply sentiment. Any project of coins you're doing, you have to apply sentiment. How much am I going to make? And so you are not a CEO of any company. And I'm not saying you should be wicked against any company, but most companies, they don't have your interest at heart. And so if you get by those mentality, we've been in this industry, we've met a lot of people, don't judge a coin by their CEO. You know, that CEO is working seriously. Those are funny thing. So those CEO take advantage of your emotions, of your, you know, your attachment to uh, believing that one person is called a CEO, he has an integrity. People, people, including myself, lack integrity when it comes to money. I've met people. I've seen a lot of things happening. We failed in so many projects. And so, when you, if you, if you, because of you know somebody who is a CEO of a company, and you so much believe in them, uh, I'm not saying you should believe anybody, but don't too much trust in people, as only in the crypto space and they make noise, they make mouth. You're gonna make so so money. It's a lie. Most of them. When the chips are down, you are left with nothing. So be careful, okay? So be careful, don't oh, you know, you can just get yourself wounded because of, of your so much belief on some of those platforms. Be careful so that you don't uh, have yourself to blame. Don't go wreck because of a company you believe that they are doing well, they will do well. well. I'm not saying you should not believe in company, but uh, be careful, okay? This is memo. How many EDC am I sending? 240 EDC. Can I move that? No, the charges is more than that. So 239 EDC. 239 EDC. It's going to charge me this 0, 0.0. This. So you click on send. Memo is needed when you are sending from your back office to your bit. Memo is not needed when you are sending from your bit to your back office. So we understand this. And then the EDC are moving. It's gone. So move all your EDC from your EDC back office to your bit so that when the spy happens, you can get it sold. And that's what you need to be doing at, on, on a regular basis. So once I've done that, so close. So anytime your EDC matured, you want to sell EDC, once there's a spike, look at my account now. I placed different prices and I still kept some untouched. Okay, so I still kept some untouched. Uh, so I think, uh, yeah, so you can see 450 Satoshi, 250, 200, 150, 100. But in November this year, last year, it actually did fantastic up to 500 Satoshi. So you have to be patient, guys. So that's all you need to know in, the, in this market. So, but your sentiment must be applied and so that you take advantage of this opportunity. And so that's it. The new project I just added to uh, my system was this, uh, but there's no need to put ourselves about it now. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time as you have listened. So if you have your friends who have told you about our platform, Plan B Express, about what we do and what we're about to do more is to expose people to project that what why you can take advantage of now to leverage on the space of cryptocurrency to better your personal economy and help your other businesses. Maybe you're into real estate, you're into different other businesses. You can do a lot of chunks of activities on the crypto space rather than to borrow money from the bank. Then the business is crumbled and then you are still faced with the challenges of paying back those loans. So you can take advantage of crypto space. And um, by the grace of God, we are embarking on, pro on trainings um, in, uh, in, in Port Harcourt, in Abuja, in Lagos, in Nenugu, very soon so when the, those event updates are out we can just you know, get you get you uh, hinted about them another thing is that in this space we want everybody to be independent that's why we stretch more on personal trading so ladies and gentlemen thank you for your time uh, for old time member of you know, you know, Lambi Express and deal with me premium group of course please take your business very seriously uh, for some of you who are new and you want to be part of us, you can join us tomorrow in our Zoom. We want to get the code for the Zoom. Our Zoom on Sundays are actually free. We want to get this code for the Zoom. 
get back to anyone who sent you this video. Or if you are watching me live, you can just chat with me on, on my WhatsApp and say, please, the Zoom code. That's it. Please, the Zoom code. Please, the Zoom code. And that, my number is plus 234-8036-924588. Take the number again. WhatsApp me on plus 234-8036-924588. Felix is my name. You are chatting me on Facebook. You can inbox me on my on my. YouTube channel, you can chat me again and say, please, the code, and I give you the code. Then you're part of the training tomorrow. It's free. We show you different businesses. You cannot explore all the businesses here, so we'll show you those businesses that can take advantage of them. But if you want to be part of our trading room, what you need to do is you need to subscribe. A yearly subscription of 55000 around. There you learn how to do trading by yourself, from buying coin, hold coins, swinging, scalping, and all of that, so you can be part of it. So it's 5,000 naira in your currency, but in BTC, you're paying $155. So it's part of the class that nobody forced you to do it. And so if you are not convinced, it's not compulsory for you to be part of it. Thank you very much, everybody, for your time, for every time, for listening to us. I just hope we will not get too disappointed one day. So that please keep on praying for us, for the grace of God to be sufficient enough for us to be open minded and be sincere enough to share ideal information rather than misleading people into different bonds of schemes and that will make people to lose their money and lose their integrity eventually. Thank you very much. Be careful, be you on. Don't get involved in some of those third parties who pay you 10%, 10%, 20% every day, every month, every week. Be careful. They are a funny group of people who want to make use of your money to accumulate enough crypto. Crypto is actually a great phenomenon. Thank you very much for your time. You have a nice time. Cheers. Until next time.